So they scouted out the land, pretty much said, okay, here's how we think we want to divide it with the towns in each different section. And then there was this whole casting of sacred lots to determine which of those seven sections went to which tribe. What's up, cool people? My name's Matt. Welcome back to our Bible study. But before I dig into it, just wanted to quickly let you know that Discord server I mentioned a while back, it's up and running. Um, somewhat basic at the moment, but it's there. It's active. I mean, I'm sharing all my videos and stuff there already as it is. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know, leave me a comment or something. Um, and maybe I'll start including a link to that in my videos or put it on the community tab or something. But anyway, just wanted to let you all know about that before we really get started here. Okay, Joshua chapter 18. Um, past couple of chapters have been spent on parts of the promised land being divvied up amongst the various tribes of Israel. Um, and it seems like, I mean, the way that it's been worded, it seems like the order in which it's going through the chapters is actually the order in which it was, you know, divided amongst the tribes. I'm not sure if that had anything to do with the size of the tribes in particular or what exactly the the order of all of it was, but um or what what or what the reasoning was behind the order, but that just seems to be the progression of it thus far. Um, and we're continuing along with that, I guess. Alrighty, here we go. Joshua chapter 18. Now that the land was under Israelite control, the entire community of Israel gathered at Shiloh and set up the tabernacle. But there remained seven tribes who had not yet been allotted their grants of land. Then Joshua asked them, how long are you going to wait before taking possession of the remaining land the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has given you? Select three men from each tribe, and I will send them out to explore the land and map it out. They, they will then return to me with a written report of their proposed divisions of their new homeland. Let them divide the land into seven sections, excluding Judah's territory in the south and Joseph's territory in the north. And when you record the seven divisions of the land and bring them to me, I will cast sacred lots in the presence of the Lord our God to assign land to each tribe. So, that almost kind of makes me wonder the way that this is all worded. Did the previous tribes of Judah and Joseph, although Joseph's tribe it was split into multiple different sections, um... Uh, did those tribes or half tribes or whatever themselves come up to Joshua initially and say like, Hey, we want this land specifically. Uh, makes you wonder, it doesn't outright say that, but it's kind of implied <laughs> by the fact that Joshua is asking the remaining tribes that haven't gotten their lands portioned out yet to do all this stuff. Um, either that or it could have just been told, you know, to Joshua by God to give the land that was already divided to those particular tribes. But anyway, um, so trying to remember where they had the tabernacle and everything set up. Which, by the way, the footnote there just says tent of meeting. Um, kind of. I'm not sure if that's like the definition of it from the Hebrew or what, but um, just something like that idea. Anyway, um, so wherever they were set up before that they kept returning to after all the fighting, they have now moved their main 
encampment probably because they always went with the tabernacle uh, move that to Shiloh at this point um, but yeah I guess now Josh was proposing that the rest of the tribes select some men to scout out the land and figure out how they want to divide it um okay Moving on to verse 7. The Levites, however, will not receive any allotment of land. Their role as priests of the Lord is their allotment. And the tribes of Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh won't receive any more land, for they have already received their grant of land, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them on the east side of the Jordan River. That was still Joshua speaking there. And I guess... That was the end of what he said. So then in verse 8, it continues on. As the men started on their way to map out the land, Joshua commanded them, Go and explore the land and write a description of it. Then return to me, and I will assign the land to the tribes by casting sacred lots here in the presence of the Lord at Shiloh. The men did as they were told and mapped the entire territory into seven sections, listing the towns in each section. They made a written record and then returned to Joshua in the camp at Shiloh. And there at Shiloh, Joshua cast sacred lots in the presence of the Lord to determine which tribe should have each section. Basically a lot of ways of saying the same thing in there, <laughs> pretty much. But, um, so they scouted out the land, pretty much said, okay... Here's how we think we want to divide it with the towns in each different section. And then there was this whole casting of sacred lots to determine which of those seven sections went to which tribe. So now we get to some more land being given out. Verse 11. The first allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. It lay between the territory assigned to the tribes of Judah and Joseph. The northern boundary of Benjamin's land began at the Jordan River, went north to the slope of Jericho, then west through the hill country and the wilderness of Beth-Avon. From there, the boundary went south to Luz, that is Bethel, and proceeded down to Ataroth Adar on the hill that lies south of lower Beth-Horon. The boundary then made a turn and swung south along the western edge of the hill facing Beth Horon, ending at the village of Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerim, a town belonging to the tribe of Judah. This was the western boundary. Okay. So, first allotment out of the seven divisions that were established is going to Benjamin. And this kind of tabbed in portion seems to be focused on the boundaries of that division of land. Now it says it was between the territory assigned to Judah and Joseph. Now is that implying that it was the only one in between? I mean, that might be the case. Again, I, I'm not super familiar or aware of all the geography there but a couple of these town names are sounding familiar so yeah it definitely could just be you know smack dab in between them and using some of their boundaries as it's as the boundary for this region too um Verse 15, the southern boundary began at the outskirts of kiriath Jerim. From that point, f sorry, from that western point, it ran to the spring at the waters of Neftoa and down to the base of the mountain beside the valley of Ben-Hinnom at the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. From there it went down to the valley of Hinnom, crossing south of the slope where the Jebusites lived and continued down to Enrogel. 
From Enrogil, the boundary proceeded in a northerly direction and came to Enshemesh and on to Galiloth, which is across from the slopes of Adumim. Then it went down to the stone of Bohan. Bohan was Reuben's son. From there it passed along the north side of the slope overlooking the Jordan Valley. The border then went down into the valley, ran past the, the north slope of Beth Hogla, and ended at the north bay of the Dead Sea, which is the southern end of the Jordan River. This was the southern boundary. The eastern boundary was the Jordan River. These are the boundaries of the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. So, yeah, further stuff about boundaries there. Um, <laughs> seems like the southern boundary was kind of the most complicated and not straight lined. Which, definitely remember reading some of that. I think more so in the land that was given to Judah. So... I mean, that would make sense if Judah was the southernmost, because I think I remember Judah saying it stretched all the way down to, like, the border of Egypt. So, yeah, would then make sense if Benjamin's southern boundary is, like, shared with a boundary of Judah that it's all, like, whacked out. Um, footnotes... Do do or from there it went to Moza. The meaning of the Hebrew is uncertain. But from there would have been Kiriath Jerem. Would be saying that it went to Moza. So I'm not sure if it's saying that that would have been an additional like landmark, or if. Like, landmark, you know, designating the boundary, or if, I don't know. Meaning of the Hebrew is uncertain, so hard for me to be real certain about something like that. Uh, waters of Neftoa, or the spring at Me Neftoa. Waters were... The spring, I presume. Um, or this little, like, prefix kind of thing here might have also stood for uh, waters or spring, even. I don't know. Uh, footnote at Jordan Valley. Uh, Hebrew says, uh, da, da, da. rather than from there, it passed along the north side of the slope overlooking the Jordan Valley. It would have been the slope overlooking the Arabah. Or overlooking Beth Araba. So, given that Araba is part of this version of the name of the place, I still am all the more inclined to think that Araba was really just like a Hebrew word for valley or something to that effect. Let's get to verse 21 here and just wrap up the chapter. These were the towns given to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. And it's going to be a whole lot of town names in here, so get ready for me to pause while I try and figure out some pronunciations. Anyway, Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emek Keziz, Beth Araba, Zamerim, Bethel, Avim, Para, Ofra, Kephar Ammonai, Ophni and Geba, 12 towns with their surrounding villages. Also, Gibeon, Ramah, Beroth, Mizpah, Kephira, Moza, Rechem, Erpil, Terela, Zela, Halef, the Jebusite town that is Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kiriath Jerim, 14 towns with their surrounding villages. This was the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Benjamin. So, why does it... I, I personally am not sure why it bothers to separate 
these 14 towns from these 12 towns. I don't know if they were uh, just going more so by size or maybe it was relative to different boundaries of that territory. I don't know. But it's just... Those were all the towns. Um, and I guess now that it mentions some of them, there might be... It could make a little bit more sense of some of the boundary descriptions, too. Um, b -b -b Moza, I think, was the one that was mentioned up here. So maybe maybe Moza was the was the town that was near the waters of Neftoa because I don't think it says Neftoa down here, but I don't know. Um. So anyway, total of twenty six towns and their surrounding villages given to the tribe of Benjamin. And I guess that's it, really. It just kind of... So it was explaining kind of what was going on at the time, why certain divisions from this point forward are the way that they are. Um, and then was like, all right, so for Benjamin, here's the boundaries. Here are the towns within those boundaries. All right, so we... Uh, I guess before... Learning about, you know, the allotment for the tribe of Benjamin got some details on how the land was divided up for the other seven tribes that hadn't gotten their allotment yet. Now six. Um, so I guess they decided the portions of the land, I, I would assume relatively evenly, because they didn't know offhand which tribe was going to get which portion because Joshua said he would cast sacred lots to determine that um so anyway I, one of those seven has been decided now we've got six tribes left to cover so yeah um I guess that's all we've got for now though as always like and share if you enjoyed the video Subscribe to the channel and click the bell if you're on YouTube to get updates when I post new videos. If you're seeing this over on Rumble, give me a follow there as well. Make sure you look down in the description either way to get info on other social media pages and stuff like that. And but down below that, leave your comments with any thoughts you have, including if you want a link to the Discord server um, or any other questions about the video, comments on things you'd like me to do in the future, whether it's discussion topics, games you want me to play, anything like that. Let me know down below. So that's going to do it for now. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully I'll see you soon for another video. But whatever the case is, till next time. Stay cool, people.